the Scottish Parliament, since it was set up, put the outcomes of the people in Scotland, the welfare of the whole population, at the heart of what it's doing. And I don't think you could think of any bigger disaster that's taken place over the eight, last 18 years than this. It's not just the number of deaths in care homes from COVID, it's the number of people who are dying for other reasons that we don't know yet. It's the way people are dying, whether they've had appropriate treatment or not. And for the people who are still living there, it's about actually what impact this is having on their physical and mental health. The most immediate failure is to do with staffing. We've got considerable staff shortages in care homes, but there's a long, long history to that. It's related to low pay in the sector, but we've also got completely a lack of staff training. The number of nurses in care homes has been stripped out over the last 15, 20 years, so we've no longer got the expertise in care homes to deal with a crisis like that. Now, some of the reasons for that is actually due to the way the sector works. And a report came out last year about how approximately in the UK, 15 billion pounds is spent in the sector. Well, one and a half billion of that is being extracted out in profits each year. So instead of going on care, it's going into the uh, places like the Cayman Islands.